Okay, next I want to talk about how to move around uh, the Excel workbook. So, if you notice, your spreadsheet is split up into columns and rows. The columns go A, B, C, D, and then when it gets to Z, it starts the alphabet all over again. It goes A, A, and then A, B, and then A, C. So, uh, there used to be 256 columns across. Uh, in the new version, they've really increased that. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do control Right. I'm going to hold down the control uh, key and hit the right mouse, uh, the uh, the right keyboard button. Now it, it took me out to column X F D. By the way, control right will go all the way to the right, or control left will go all, all the way to the left. Uh, these are just keyboard shortcuts. Of course, control down or control up would work as well. So it took us out to column X F D. So what it did is when it got to Z Z, it started the alphabet all over again. It goes A A A and then A A B. AAC. So uh, when we go out to XFD, it, it's something over 16,000 columns. So the spreadsheet used to have 256 columns, but now it goes up to uh, over 16,000. Now in this case, I want to hit Control Home. When you do Control Home anywhere in the uh, on the spreadsheet, it takes you back to uh, cell A1, uh, which is column A, row one. Now, if you look at the rows, to go the rows go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do Control Down, hold down Control and hit the down arrow on the keyboard. Now, uh, now it goes over to one million forty-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-six rows. So your spreadsheet is now over sixteen thousand columns and over one million forty-eight thousand rows. I mean, that's just amazing. Uh, that should obviously meet most of your needs. Uh, I'm going to do Control Home again to go back to cell A1. Now, look look where my mouse is going. This is called uh, the name box. And the name box tells you what cell that you're in. So, it says A1. That's column A, row 1. Uh, so, each intersection of a uh, column and a row is called a cell. So all of these individual blocks on the screen are cells, and then if you have uh, a bunch of cells selected, that's called a range of cells. So it's very easy to move to a different cell. If you just click, then that becomes the current cell, as we can see. So I'm just going to click here, and now, now it says G9, column G, row 9. Uh, another way you can tell what cell that you're in is if you notice column G is lit up and row 9 is lit up. So that'll always be the case with the current cell. And then also notice how the current cell is, is outlined in black. If we just click anywhere else, then that becomes the current cell, as we can see. We can also move around with the keyboard arrows. So uh, on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the down arrow key. And notice how that takes me one cell down. Of course, left would take me one cell to the left. The right arrow will take me one cell to the right. And the up arrow will take me one cell up. So that's, that's a popular way to move around. Uh, another way we can move around is with the page down key on the keyboard. Page down is going to take you one complete screen down. So right now I'm in H8. If I hit page down, now I'm in H24, so it took me one screen down. I'm going to hit page down again. Now I'm in H40. I'm going to hit page up, and now I'm in H24. And then I'm going to hit page up again, and I'm back to H8. So it's going to take you one screen up or one screen down when we use page up or page down. Uh, another keyboard shortcut that works is the home key. Right now I'm in H8, but if I hit home, now I'm in A8. A8 always takes you back to column A of whatever uh, row that you're in, as we can see. Watch. I'm going to go to, um, to I11, but now I'm going to hit the home key, and now I'm in A11. Now, you can also go to a specific cell. What, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to click on the name box. Let's say I want to go to uh, J8. I'm just going to type in J8 with no spaces, and I'm going to hit the enter key. And now I'm in cell J8, as we can see. So those are all the popular ways to move around. Of course, you can also use your scroll bars to scroll up and down, or this scroll bar goes to the left and to the right. But these are all very popular ways uh, to move around your spreadsheet.